Hey, how you doing? Hey, this is Admin uh, from PlexGuide.com. We're just here to do a quick video on Heimdall, Heimdall, however you pronounce it. It does have a European dialect. I'm half German, so it's probably, if I was to say it, Heimdall, maybe. Hey, Codestar, maybe maybe correct me on this. So, But anyways, uh, Codestar has developed a great project to make our lives a little bit easier on all of us. So here is his GitHub project. So he's part of the Linux server group, and you can see that his project has been taken off. Um, he's already got a good amount of contributors, commits going, branches. Uh, I've been observing the program probably over the last week. If you do have more detailed questions or you ever want to visit his group, you can click this link right here, and it'll take you to the Discord. And everybody there is friendly and will assist you. Here's a mini quick demo video. And you'll notice that uh, NZV Git right here is showing particular information because uh, I, I noticed that I haven't played with that piece too much. But I'm just here to do a quick video. Here is our GitHub project, and we already have it integrated in our Enzabel script. So you can see that we already have it built in. And here you go. So I'm going to go ahead and use PlexGuide. So we got two awesome programs. And you can tell from our program right here, we make it easy for you to deploy everything that you need. This, uh, like I said, Plex Guide is a program that deploys a, a media server that uses Google Drive as a backend with unlimited storage. So you can find his program under UI Organizers. And here it is. So I'm going to just go ahead and click that. It's going to launch this piece of code. It's going to put it under 1111. Right now I'm using a virtual machine as a test, so I do not have to set up on a domain or anything like that. But if you do, you can access it via this these three routes. You know, you can do it through your domain dot one one colon one one one, or you can do it through a domain, a subdomain, and then you know your main, or just pretty much this, the simplest way to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this, and then I'm gonna go ahead, let's see, let's close this one. We're gonna go ahead and paste it here. And just a little bit of a warning, it takes about two minutes for the application to come up. So when I first deployed it, I was wondering what I was doing wrong. I kept playing with the, the port numbers and everything. So it takes about like two minutes to load up. So just be a little bit patient. Um, let's see what else we got here. So while that is loading up, we do have a, a quick mini write-up. And the author has been very interactive. His name is Codestar again. So he's been interactive with our group right here. And I told him we'll help him out because, uh, yeah, his project is relatively new. So you know how it is. Getting the word out there is always a hard thing to do. And trust me, I know uh, from from doing the Plex Guy project. So, you know, our project is kind of a, a massive headache at the same time because we're deploying many programs at once. Okay, let's go ahead and check it again. There we go. So basically when you load this up, it says, you know, basically add an application. So there's two ways you can do things. You can manually just add your stuff, upload your own icons. But... As I've been seeing this application grow, um, it's very easy uh, to use the pre-built settings that he has in. And like how you saw in that mini demonstration video, like NZB Git was showing like the speeds of the um, of the download. So something that's good to know. And you remember, the, the thing you should do here is just bookmark the location. Um, if you have a domain name, it's even better because you could technically access it from anywhere in the world. If you got a remote server with a domain or, or a local, whatever. But the point is, is you can use this for one consistent homepage. And you're like, well, what about the search? Well, he does have that ability in. So before we go ahead and launch a few items, we're just going to go ahead and turn home search on. And then we're going to use search provider. So there's three right here. I use Google all the time. DuckDuckGo is pretty much Bing, but without the tracking. So go ahead and hit save here. And I think I'm going to click this. Okay. So right now we have Google search. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add an application. So we're going to call, let's let's do NZB Git. So you can see here, there's there's various things getting added. This is, this is freaking awesome. NZB Git, right there. And you can see that it already has an icon and everything and some coloring he did just to make life a little bit easier for you. So to make sure that NZB Git's working, we're going to go ahead and deploy it with Plex Guide. And... Again, the, the goal of our program is to make life easy, too, um, by just deploying applications pre-configured to make your life easy. So here we go. Here's the address for NZB Git. 
I'm going to go ahead and pop this in there. And, and in this quick video that you saw earlier, um, this would be obviously the username and password of the program that you're using. So it can, you know, the, show that information that you saw earlier, like the speeds. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. And hopefully NZB gets ready to go. So, because you know how Murphy likes to strike. There we go. That was, that was relatively quick and painless. Okay. So let's go ahead and add other things that we like here exits let's go to media servers and let's go ahead and deploy MB and then already go to the settings here or right here we're already go to go ahead and type in MB and again you can't upload your own icons if you do it'll change out what you got here so you can see how there's different icons um, you can add to okay let me go ahead and get the address that I need and then we hit paste then hit save let's see if it works wow so you know you could tell this applications uh, pretty amazing it's very simple that's that's the main reason why I like it um, it's, it's not cluttery I use Muggsy Mux and some of the other programs and they, they kind of accomplish the same thing but it's just the, the user interface is not as friendly um, some stuff that they're maturing too Okay, so let's try one more thing. So let's see if he has net data. I've been seeing a bunch of pushes to his project. Not Google search. Um, let's try net data right here. Yep, there is net data. Awesome. Ah, so you got standard icon for it. Okay, good. So we're gonna go ahead and deploy net data. Now, I love this application. Um, even if you don't really use it, um, use a server for much of anything, it's great to give you feedback on how well your system is performing. And again, this isn't a virtual machine. That's this. It's the virtual machine that's actually running on another computer sitting in my network. Okay, save. And then let's click it. And man, that's, that's pretty amazing. So now you have an all-in-one location where you can search for things and then you know some of the some of the programs do display information to you so let's see zap okay let's do a custom one so I'm gonna go to here let's just say you like your own things here's zap right here so obviously let's say I like let's see what's the difference okay let's just say we like this icon because I don't know the, it's not as it's not as yellow, you know. Whatever, you know. People got weird reasons why they prefer things. So let's go ahead and deploy Zab, which should fall under NZBs, and here's Zab NZBD. And then here's the API key that you could put in, which obviously displays probably the information on how fast it's downloading. And you know what? Now that I think about it, it's actually pretty amazing if if you did because even if you had this program installed somewhere else, not even, you know, part of Plex Guide or, or your main server, as long as this program can reach that URL and, you know, utilize the API key correctly, you could always see your information at all times. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this. And then let's say we just wanted a different color. Just say we just want to go yellow. Oops. <laughs> Bonehead move on my end. Paste. Okay, and then go ahead and save. And there we go. So obviously you can't see it right here. So um, I would recommend CodeStars project if if you're gonna um, you know set up a lot of applications and not try to memorize all the port numbers and subdomains. Uh, if you like this video, you know just please like and subscribe, comment. You know it does help us grow. Also, you can visit our website here and uh, you can ask questions. If you ask questions related to his project too, um, CodeStar does like to respond which is very good it's it's very hard um <laughs> keeping up to date with everybody and all the requests that are made so and again visit this github github project here make sure you start this project to help promote it also visit ours if you can and promote it so it's, it's kind of one of the hardest things to do and that is pretty much it pending anything else thank you for your time